Hello and welcome back to how to create a virtual studio in Photoshop and Sony Vegas. So in this one what we're gonna do we're gonna save the, the the studio here and then we're gonna create the screen the TV to put it here. Right so before we do that just to make sure that our glass effect the see-through glass okay is actually working. And things you can do because it's quite hard to see like that okay but what you can do is basically Select the whites. Uh, you can use the delete tool and kind of you can see there. So, basically, what I'm doing here is deleting the glass itself. Okay. Now, if you got that effect, that means your glass is there. It's a 22%. I'm probably going to put that down a little bit more. So, one step back to get things back to where it was. I just probably put this even about 17 there. Okay, and that's better. Then we turn this one off, so close the eye here. And now there you go. So this is our studio the see-through class. Now we're gonna save it and save as you're gonna select to save as a PNG, okay? Virtual Studio. Okay, and save down on the desktop. Okay, that's the now the next step is we're gonna create uh, the screen. Okay, so we're gonna go File, New, again same size, 1280 by 720. Click OK, and now we're gonna use the rulers here. So I'm just gonna use this is in uh, uh, scope of pixels here, and we're gonna do is just kind of just put the mouse on the ruler there, and kind of that line then pops up. Okay, and we just drag the line and go about five pixels for the five pixels. Maybe let's put about four to five pixels, about there. Okay, maybe six even. Do the same for this one. We drag another line, put it in the bottom here. Okay, there's about five pixels there, or six actually. And uh, we do the same here from the ruler to the left. We go there. Okay. And we do exactly the same here. And we go again. More or less, I think that's. Okay. okay. Right, so this is our screen. I'm just making sure this is actually the right size. Okay, okay there you go. So next we're gonna use our marquee tool here. Just put the, you can see the, how the cross change color. When you change color, it's completely red. Just drag and drop. And there you go. So this is our first phase of our screen. We're gonna use the fill tool here. So you're gonna change to a green screen color because we're gonna use for a green screen. And use the bucket tool and fill that in. Okay, and that is uh, that is wrong. <laughs> okay, let's change that to a black first. Okay, so let's say this is the frame around the TV. Okay, put the black. Okay, and the next one we're gonna create a new layer. And now is the time that we create the screen. Okay, you just back to the marquee tool. This time we're gonna fill it it green. Bucket two, fill it. And now use edit free transform. Lock in the sizes so it keeps the space ratio, and we just kind of go back to make our screen. Okay, it's not bad. It looks alright. Okay, so that's the uh, first section of our screen. Now, what we're gonna do next is uh, just select the blocks here. Okay, mark it tool to select this, and go back here to your magic, magic wonder tool. Select the whites and press the delete key. Before you press the delete key, make sure the padlock is not there. Remove that. Now we delete. Okay, and there it goes. Our screen is pretty much created. So what I need to do is then, since the black is selected and we use the grays, I'm going to use the grays here as well on the layer styles. Select that. 
uh, is a bit too much going on there, too much uh, bevel emboss. So I just go here to FX, bevel emboss, and I kind of just going to mess with these bevels because this is a bit too much. Okay, just to lower the curves a little bit. Maybe change that to a, to a chisel. No, no good idea. Okay. There it goes. That's the one. Emboss. We just change that. Is a B. It's alright, it looks alright, don't you think? I think so. So I click OK and there it goes. Here is our TV. It's now created. So what we need to do next again is save save as save as tv green ok save as a, a png again because we're going to use that on sony vegas on the next video on desktop click save click ok and you may want to save that as well so you click that click yes save so it saves on desktop Follow the date, you never know. Okay, and save as a PSD as well. It says already exists, probably because I got another one there with the same name. So I just add numbers, click save, click OK. And there it goes, so we've done it. So in the next one, we'll move on to Sony Vegas. So see you in the next video.